Hello, this is Pastor Katina Isley with Blessings in Breakthroughs. Today I would like to talk to you about healing. We're going to be looking at some healing Bible scriptures. You can find these verses on my website, www.blessingsinbreakthroughs.com. Go on to healing and you will see the exact same Bible verses. So, you need to know that God is our healer. No matter what we're going through, he is our healer, and we can believe him for our healing. In Exodus chapter 15, verse 26, the word of God says, For I am the Lord your healer. In Proverbs chapter 4, verses 20 through 22, the word of God says, My son, pay attention to what I say. Turn, turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. In 3 John chapter 1, verse 2, the word of God says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you mayest you that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. In Psalm chapter 118, verse 17, the word of God says, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. In Isaiah chapter 53, 5b, the word of God says, By his wounds we are healed. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24b says, By his wounds you have been healed. Psalm chapter 41, verse 3 says, The Lord will sustain him upon his sickbed. In his illness you restore him to health. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 6 says, Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17 says, No weapon form against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Psalm 103, verses 1 through 3 says, Praise the Lord, my soul, all my innermost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Psalm chapter 107, verse 20 says, He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destruction. In Matthew chapter 9, verse 35, the word of God says, And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. And John chapter 10, verse 10, the word of God says, I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. God wants us to have good health. He is our healer. Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice by dying on the cross for our sins. And he took on all our sicknesses, all diseases for our sake so that we may be healed. We have to trust and believe that he is our healer and his word is true. So I encourage you to speak by faith and believe him for your healing. And I would like to share a testimony with you about a recent healing he did for me. I was going through, um, I was having this, uh, I was having a uh, bacteria infection and uh, and it was, and I consider it minor because it was one I experienced before. I usually I have this type of bacteria infection maybe a couple times a year. And it's been happening off and on for years since I was a teenager. And so I thought when it happened uh, this time, I thought, okay, this is common. It's, it usually takes a week or so to go away and it's no problem. And so that's what I thought it was. But this time it was different because it came and then uh, a week went by, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. I was still dealing with this. It would appear it was going away and then it would just, uh, just, uh, start over all over again with the same problem. And this uh, ended up happening for seven months. 
I kept dealing, you know, I kept having the same reoccurring problem. And so I took, I went to, I uh, saw several doctors and uh, they put me on different uh, an the antibodies and that sort of thing. And it would work temporarily while I was taking the medicine. Shortly after I, I took the medicine and it would be fine for a week or two, then it would flare back up again. And I was dealing with the same problem. And I was, and it got to the point where I'm like, I really started to get concerned because I was doing everything. I would try home remedies. I would try uh, to listen to the med medical experts and do what they told me to do and trying all these different things. And again, it would be, it would leave temporarily and they come back again. And, and I talked to my several doctors about this and, um, and uh and they just told me it could be you know i have to fight it aggressively and it can it may take a while and that sort of thing but eventually it will uh um uh, go away and but I, like i said seven months into it i'm still not seeing uh any changes uh little to no changes so i went to god out of desperation because i was like okay i'm gonna have to go see uh another specialist about this and uh and uh, and I was like, man, this can get you know pretty expensive to keep have to go to doctor after doctor to try to get this. What I saw as at the beginning something minor, you know, taken care of. And I and I uh, and I went to God and I said, God, I said, um, now and it, and off and on during this time, I was also saying those same Bible scriptures I just uh, read to you. I was saying those Bible scriptures. I was believing in God for my healing. I was declaring it. I was I, I had moments where I fasted and prayed about it and uh, that sort of thing. And so um, within those months, so it's good. And it got to the point where I was like, well, God, I said, I really need your help. I really need you. I said, this is a problem and it's not going, it hasn't went away yet. And I really need your help and I really need you to heal me and uh, uh, prevent me from going through unnecessary, you know, money, losing money because I'm going from doctor to doctor. I need your help to heal this problem, even though I saw it as, uh, it seemed like it was something minor, but, you know, it did cause some pain sometime and discomfort uh, at times. So I was like, okay, God, I really need you to, to, to come through for me. I need this breakthrough. I need you to uh, heal me. And I'm telling you, shortly after I prayed that prayer, and this happened, all this happened, I got my breakthrough within the last, within the last week. And I, uh, after shortly after I got that prayer, that the Holy Spirit told me what I needed to do. Uh, based on the problem that with moisture, and it kept getting, moisture kept getting in the, the area, and the, because the moisture kept getting in the area, it kept called, that was causing the reoccurrence. And uh, I needed to find a solution with getting rid of the moisture. And I believe the Holy Spirit told me that before, but I could not try different things, but I couldn't figure out what to use to get rid of the moisture in the area. And um, so thank God for wisdom. That's another thing I want to say. Pray and declare that you have wisdom, knowledge, understanding, the spirit of discernment. And thank God for giving you that wisdom, knowledge, understanding, the spirit of discernment on a regular basis to say those things. So I've been saying that type of prayer for, for years. Um, so I... Uh, and so the Holy Spirit let me know that uh, exactly what I needed to solve the problem. And so he told me first. And so I'm like, okay. And then that same night I had a dream. And a dream, uh, it showed, and twice, it showed me that I needed to buy the exact same thing. It showed me exactly what I needed to buy to solve that problem and how to do it. And uh, the very next day when I woke up and the store opened, I went and bought the product and, and I did exactly what uh, the Holy Spirit had uh, revealed to me, and I'm telling you, it works. And uh, it, it, it worked, and it, the problem, like, I'm, I'm already seeing a big difference, and, and, and I'm not, it's, it's no longer the pain and discomfort, that's no longer the case. The moisture, the wet, that's no longer the case, because, and I just thank God for that breakthrough. I thank God for that wisdom. I'm like, man, and it seemed, and it was, to be honest, it was simple. I'm like, I dealt with this discomfort Unnecessary pain and suffering. Uh, 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 going visiting the doctor, doctors, because I taught more than one doctor in the seven months, for for the last seven months, for something that was simple. I just needed the wisdom. And I just didn't, and I realized, why didn't I, I did go to God and said the scriptures, you know, declare my healing. And, and I said that, but it was just what I did differently. I just asked God. I said, God, I need your help. I need I need this problem to be solved. What do I need to do? How can I solve this? Well, how can this 
problem go away? How can I, how can it, what do I need to do? Tell me, show me, help me. I just ask God, God, help me. And, some, and, and, and that's why the word of God says, we have not because we ask not. Sometimes it's just simple, just asking God for help. Just simply saying, God, help me. Help me. I need help with this. And us realize not depending on our own might, not our own power, not our own thoughts, not our own wisdom, but just seeking God. Like, help me in this situation. And I realized, and, I, and as, as when he told me the solution, and I did it, and it worked, I'm like, man, why did I think of this earlier? Or why did I? And I like, and I asked myself, why did I just ask God earlier? And I think that's some of some of the times we allow that we drag things on, unnecessary discomfort or pain and uh, things we're going through because we just simply forget. Just just ask our Father, ask our Healer, ask Him. God, help me, show me, teach me, guide me, lead me. So let me remind you, ask him. We have not because we ask not. Ask him. Ask Jesus Christ. It's okay. He's a good father. He is our father. He is our healer. He is your healer. God bless you. To learn more, visit my website, www.blessingsinbreakthroughs.com.